Hey guys, I'm back. I think I figured out where we um, actually align the text both horizontally and vertically on this. So we're going to go back to our PowerPoint. Going to open up the uh, PowerPoint. And here's what we're going to do. First off, we're going to select the entire table. So we've selected it by uh, using our pointer and dragging down and selecting it. And then up here in the alignment, we have the option. Under Paragraph and Alignment, you click Center. Now that centers it horizontally across the page, but we want to also align it vertically. So we're going to set this and put it in the middle of the square. So by doing this, we select the middle option, and it will align it both horizontally and vertically across there. So that takes care of um, this instruction here, center the text across the board. So instruction 10 here at the end of part one, and then we'll get ready to start part two together here in just a minute. You're going to delete slide three of this presentation. So we're going to go back to the presentation that we have up here. And slide one, two, three, we're just going to click on that, right click, and there's our option to delete slide. So now we just have the three slides in this presentation. So that's the first half of it. So we put all that together. It shouldn't take much to finish this up. Now the second half, we're actually going to use slides from another PowerPoint. And we're also going to use data and information from an Excel file. You remember we downloaded the, um, the charts PowerPoint, practice PowerPoint earlier to our hard to our H drive. And then we also opened in, uh, opened up the Excel file, which is the PowerPoint practice charts data. So you have both of those files already open on your um, on your desktop or in your, or in your H drive where we'll be able to get to those. So the first thing we're going to do here, it says, make sure that you are clicked on or below the third slide and insert slides, reuse slides. Now this is a specific function called reuse slides. We're going to reuse slides from this other PowerPoint. In Teams. So I want you to watch while we do this to follow along. So we're going back to our PowerPoint here. We're going to make sure that we are right below slide three. We're going to click right below slide three. And we're going to use the insert we're going to do actually here, we're going to use new slide. So we're going to create a new slide from the home tab, new slide not insert, but new slide. Then down here at the bottom, you got two options. One says slides from an outline. Now you would only use that if you are using Word. So if you're gonna bring information from a document that has a .doc at the end of it, then that would be a Word document. So we won't be using that today. We're using reuse slides on that option there. So when you click that open, it's gonna open up this little section over here and it's going to ask us to browse and go find the, the file that we want to use. Now we know that file's on our H drive. So we're going to go over here to our H drive. And it is the charts practice side. And we'll click open. And when we do that, it's going to take and put these um, all these uh, files right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see it for a minute. It's so going to put all the, the slides over here from that presentation right here. So I'm not sure. Hopefully you guys can see me still. But we're going to go back to our instructions. And our instructions, it says we, don't only, we only want slides three and four. So we're going back to over here. And over in this section here, we're going to select slides three, click on it, and it adds it in, four, click on it, adds it in, and then we can go ahead and close that window. We don't need that anymore. So, um, so there we are with that. So there we are. We've got our PowerPoint here. We've got these four slides, five slides in here, just like it asked. Um, and we'll be able to use those from there. Now this other PowerPoint we don't need. So if you wanna go back to this 
uh, charts PowerPoint. We're not going to need that anymore, so you can go ahead and close that out of the way so it's not confusing. So the only one you need to have open is the tables one. It should have the five slides in it. If you look here, this has our sales by genre uh, information, and then we have a blank slide in there. So we'll be doing some stuff with that. So go back over to our instructions. So once we've done that, you should have a total of five slides in the instruction, the preview window. And then it says on the last slide, it wants us to insert a line chart. So that's pretty simple. We'll go back to the slide. And here is our chart options in our text. So we're going to say insert, click on insert chart. It'll open up the, the dialog box. And here are our line charts. And we want just a line chart. It doesn't say a stacked line. It doesn't say 100% stacked or anything else. So we're just going to click the basic line chart. And then we say OK to that. It'll automatically input that chart into our um, file here. So here's our chart, and you'll show it brings up this Excel spreadsheet that has some data in it. So it just shows you how we can do what the information is. But here's your chart. It is these lines. You'll see there are different lines across the board, different categories. Here's your colors of those lines down there, and that. So let's go back to our instructions. So the next thing says, open the practice workbook in Teams, the practice data charts in Excel, and copy the data. So we've already opened that file. Should have that file open here. Let me just close that out of the way. Uh, did it open it? Hang on a minute here. It looks like we had a little glitch with that. Um... Right, so here, that looks like that didn't open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. We're going to go down here to our H drive. I know we have this on our H drive. And here is our um, H drive. And we're looking for the Excel file. OK, so I'm going to go back to our Teams. Because it looks like we need to download that file again so we can get the information on it. So this is the charts data. And we're going to go ahead and open that in Excel. Let that open up here in a minute. Open in Excel. Let it open up. And all we're really going to do with this is we're just going to copy the data out of it. We go back to our instructions while that's opening. It's going to say open the practice workbook in Teams, the charts data and copy the data and paste it into cell A1 on the chart spreadsheet, okay? So we're going to um, enable workbook, uh, edit workbook, and we're going to just select here and copy all of this data, all of this information. That, you know, right click and copy. We're going to go back to our PowerPoint, and then we're just going to go right here, and we're going to paste that. Uh, we're just going to do a paste. So all that information is going to paste in there. Now you'll see all of these lines come in down here. So this is all of that data that's in here showing for the entire thing. And one of the great things about this, I'm going to make this just a little bit, um, trying to make this. So when this is in here, if you didn't want all of that data, this here is your, uh, your, your chart information. So if you just take this and you just slide that over, then will it eliminate? You just get here January, February, April, May. So it would give you just that. So we'll put it back the way it was. So there's our data in there like that. Shows us here's our chart, shows the revenue over here, your classic romance. These are all movies, types of movies. And then the different um, how much, how many sales of those types of video movies and books were during that period of time. So going back to our instructions, I think we have one or two more things to do here. So it says, um, rename the chart title sales by genre. So when we go back here, you'll be able to see here's our chart title. And all we need to do is just click in that. And then you can um, just go over that. And we're going to submit sales by, let's make sure we do this right, G E N. R E genre. Okay, so that's that. We just renamed the chart title. Our instructions here says change the chart type to a chart, a cluster bar. So we go back here. 
And so when you want to change the tar chart type, there's an option to do that. So we're just going to click on the chart like we are. Then up here under our design, we have this option to change chart type. So when you click on that, we're going to go find what it wants. It says we want a bar chart, and it says a clustered bar, not stacked or anything. So there's our clustered bar. And as soon as we do that, it will then change. And what this allows you to do is you can look at this, and it'll show you all the young adult um, for all the young adults. It shows all the different months right together. So you can see at a glance that um, June was like the best month across the board with that. So that's a great way to just to be able to see your, your data a lot clearer. Let me go back here. So we get the chart type. Then Alexei says is use the quick layout drop down menu and change it to layout 10. Okay. So super simple. Here's your quick layout drop down. It's just over in the far left hand side. Quick layout. And we're going to look here. That's layout one, two. Um, so this is eight, nine. And then here's quick layout 10. And it changes the information. You notice what it did? It took the axes and put your date, your months, days of the month over here on this side, and it put your dollar amounts underneath. So it changed your um, the axes information, the the chart axis, the way it's displayed. And I think we have just one more little instruction. Okay, so it says click the chart elements shortcut button. Click the arrow next to the axis titles and select primary horizontal axis title. Okay, so we're going to click the chart elements shortcut. So let's see, where's our chart element shortcut? Okay, let's see, chart elements here. Here's your chart elements shortcut. And we are looking at, uh, let's go back and look at these instructions again. Sorry about that, guys. So click the chart elements shortcut button. Click the arrow next to the access titles and then change that to horizontal access titles. Okay, so that's a lot of information in there. So chart elements, access titles, and we're going to change that to horizontal. Access titles. I think that's right. Let's double check this instruction. I want to make sure I didn't mess that up. Primary horizontal access titles. Okay, so go back here. Make sure we got this right. Elements, access titles, primary horizontal. Okay, so there we go. That's right. Now the next piece here, the last one says double click on the access title, then rename it sales profit. So we go over here. And let's see, where's our access title? So I'm in trouble finding this. So where's our access title? So we're going to no. Chart options. Okay, so this one we're going to have to figure out and work on it together. 